Have you ever broken a spark plug off? And well, that's exactly what I did. You can see this spark plug is broken. But the thing is, I didn't realize that. And I was struggling to get it out and to get my socket on, not realizing that the porcelain from this plug had gathered around the base of the plug, keeping my socket to go in. It was on the back cylinder, and I couldn't get in there to look. Tried to use my cell phone to take pictures. I tried to reflect with the mirror, and I just couldn't see it. I didn't have one of those cameras that you can feed down into. But amazingly, I did, and I was able finally to get this spark plug, 5 8 inch spark plug socket over it and I pulled the plug out. And this is on my 3.5 EcoBoost and that truck that you see behind me. All I was doing was changing valve covers. But when I pulled this plug out I didn't realize it had been broken. And what happened was all these shards, all these little porcelain fragments had to go somewhere. And since I had the hole opened up, some fell down on top of my piston. How do you get that out when that happens? Well, there were steps that I took to get all of that out. And I believe the last step I took will surprise you. So I hope you follow to the end and, and hear what I did finally to get that out. The first step might surprise you, but you got to realize I was extremely frustrated when I realized what I had done. So the first step for me is I simply had to go sit down and take a break and I had to think about what just happened and come up with a plan. So the first step for me is I just simply thought about it before I just went gun ho and jumped in there. I thought it over. As I was sitting in my chair thinking about it, I thought the first thing that came to mind was vacuum, my shop vac. I'll put that over the hole and with that vacuum coming out it, it would just suck everything out. So what I did is I got my shop vac and I put a just a water bottle over it. I cut it and then duct taped it fast so I would have a hole about the same size as my spark plug hole. So I thought, oh this will work. And I turned the shop vac on, I put it down there and oh maybe 30 seconds to a minute just let it do its job then afterwards i went ahead and pulled the the top off the shop vac and sure enough there was a lot of little fragments in the bottom of that shop vac that got at least what was on top of the uh, uh, plug tube around the edge of where the spark plug held at least those were out of there now and I still didn't know about the top of the piston. So I thought, well, I'll take this hose and I'll put in with the shop vac and make it the hole just a little bit smaller and stick it down the hole and see if that would work. It didn't. So the second uh, thing I did was I got my shop vac out and I tried to suck as much out as I could. Realizing I was working with the unknown on this uh, cylinder, I thought I need a camera to put down in that hole just to make sure that there was fragments in or not in. I needed to know. So I went and borrowed a camera off of my son. He has a, a mechanic shop up the road here. And I went and got his camera. I didn't have one. Brought it back here, took that camera, and I worked it down into the cylinder head spark plug hole. 
turned it on, sure enough, right there you could see it, fragments of spark plug sitting right on top of the piston. So at least I wasn't in the dark. So uh, I thought about it, I used the vacuum, and then I got a camera just to make sure. That's the third thing I did. Well, the fourth thing that I did, the fourth, the fourth attempt, was I got, I got a piece of wire and I put a little loop on the end of it and I saturated or covered that wire in grease. My thought was that if I could get that wire down through the spark plug hole into on top of the piston I could wiggle it around and, and then carefully bring it back up and maybe there would be fragments of that spark plug attached to that gray stuck to it and just to see where I was with that after I put the wire in I went ahead and slipped the camera in again to look and sure enough I was right there with the wire so I pulled the camera out and I very carefully pulled the wire out with with the grease and I took it, I couldn't see anything visibly, but I took my fingers and I squeezed it and sure enough there was a little bit of the fragments in that grease. So that worked somewhat. When I went ahead again and put the camera down in there and sure enough there was still a pretty good sized fragment on top of that piston. What was I going to do? Well, this last attempt, this last thing that I did may surprise you. This valve cover is the reason I was pulling the plugs out anyway. I was replacing this old warp valve cover on the driver's side and it was this last cylinder. thought since I've got it down this far I was going to just pull the plugs out and replace them. Well it was this last cylinder and it's underneath the, the uh, whatever you call that, the firewall and you can't get your head in there to see it or anything like that. So what was I supposed to do? Well, what I did is I went ahead and put this all back together. I put the whole thing together, had everything all bolted down and except I left this last plug hole open without a spark plug. My thought was if I start this engine, maybe it would blow that fragment out. My son suggested that as a possible solution. Sometimes he said you can get it out that way. So sure enough, I tried it. I, I stood in front of the uh, truck and watching very carefully. I had a friend of mine start the truck. And when he started the truck, it took right off. And sure enough, I saw that fragment fly right out of there. So, that seems strange, but it worked. So if you ever have a spark plug breaking you and you get them fragments down in there, I just gave you some oh, feet on the ground, good ideas, I feel, to get that, that out from top, on top of your piston. I also learned when talking with my son that sometimes when you do and have those mishaps, little tiny fragments, it's, it's, and it's so brittle and so hard, they just blow right out of the engine anyway when you're running it. But I, and like he would, just didn't want to take the chance with it. So I started it up and blew them out that hole. The engine run rougher than a cob on five, but it, uh, for just, and pull, 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 pull. That's what it sounded like. Blew that out. I love working in this little shop, making these videos, and it doesn't always go the best for me. Sometimes I have problems, I encounter mistakes I make, and different things like that. Well, you have to deal with them the best you can. That spark plug set me back but we were able to accomplish the project we started out with the truck runs great and the problem 
is corrected. The mistake. Share with me, I would love to hear your suggestions, maybe some mistakes you made in your shop that if you like what I bring each week, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button. And if videos like this, if you really want to understand why that happened to me, I would suggest that you watch this video right here where I replaced uh, the valve covers on that truck be at F-150. Watch this video right here. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.